John Newland shares a story from his book, Ordinary, an ordinary man's experience with God, that he is a recovering cowboy, as he puts it, sharing how he was wrangling up a bull and how he was able to single-handedly take down this bull. Guess what? It was the first time he ever heard a compliment from his father. And it taught a very important lesson, how important it is for us and how powerful it is for us to compliment and praise our own children. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. So you also talk of something in your in your book, you know, about you know being pig tied. <laughs> you know, talk to us a little about that story. I thought it was a very good story. Pig tied. Well, mm -hmm. this is my days when uh, we were working cattle, and um, that's an amazing statement, by the well, way. I mean, just to hear that. That you worked cattle on a horse, right? That's amazing, and, man. It's like unreal, you know. Well, my dad always kept uh -huh. about 700 head uh -huh. of wild Brahma cattle. Most people call them Brahma, but in in that mm -hmm. South Florida, mm -hmm. most people don't know South Florida or Florida yeah. is the eighth leading cattle state. Wow! Yeah, no, it's, it's a cattle. Know. It's a there was more people in gun battles at, at Arcadia than in the OK Corral I ever saw. Right? It was cowboys. Wow! So. Mm -hmm. In one sense, I, I, I'm not a cowboy, mm -hmm. okay, because I didn't want to be, mm -hmm. and I'm recovering redneck. I'm recovering <laughs> that part, okay? Re uh, yeah, no, no, I've tried to change my life by, oh. by studying words okay. and to, to learn to have a different mindset. But okay. as a young man, right. okay, we raised cattle, mm -hmm. and um, I loved every single minute of it. Mm -hmm. we, uh, it was swamp cattle, and I had a buddy named Big Man. He was only 19 and I was 21. Once again, he was a big guy. Right. And he had a big head and, he, and a square jaw. Even as a young man, 19, he had jowls underneath here. Wow. But he could outfight me, he could outrun me, uh, he could outrope me. We threw uh, knives every day when we were together. Wow. We practiced roping every day. He could do wow. everything better than me. We had right, this right. competition. Yeah. And he more than me, he could right. not stand to let me beat him in any way. Right. So, uh, we had pastures in different locations. We might have had eight or ten different pastures and even mm -hmm. in different counties. Mm -hmm. This particular pasture where this story happened was a small pasture. Mm -hmm. It was only about uh, 40 acres. Okay. And it had, but it had a lot of myrtle trees mm -hmm. grown up in it. It was so thick you couldn't see through the pasture. There might be few open places. Right. And uh, we went in there to work these cattle. Mm -hmm. And this bull... Uh, he was a jumping bull. Some bulls, a fence mean nothing to them. Oh, wow. And they're okay. big, they're giant. Big, giant hump on their back, big mm -hmm. horns. And they come up to a fence and just leap right over it. And the rest of the cattle went in the pen. Mm -hmm. And so my dad said, well, let him go. He said, when the flints work air cows, they'll get him. Oh, wow. Okay. And so we loaded up the other cattle. And a few weeks later, there he was back in the pasture. Mm -hmm. And my dad didn't believe in roping anything. It was all about production. Right. He didn't want to stress something so they wouldn't produce something, okay? okay? Right. And so roping to him was ridiculous, okay? okay? To Big Man and I, it was a joy. It's what we wanted to do. We wanted right. to rope anything. Right. And so now this bull's in there. There's only one way to get him, and that's to rope him, okay? Right. How old are you now during this uh, time? This, I'm probably in my early 20s. Okay, okay. And uh, so it was my dad uh -huh. and me, uh -huh. and then there was a fellow named Wayne Kelly, mm -hmm. and his dad named was Jack Kelly. Okay. They had a big ranch. They were potato farmers, and that paid off their ranch, and now they're ranchers. Right. And they thought in their mind they were bona fide cowboys, okay? Right. And then Big Man knew he was. I said with a joke about him, he was born in the saddle, okay? Right. His dad was a cowboy of a cowboy, mm -hmm. and have stories of old Florida like you wouldn't believe. Right. So he was part of the Flints. The Flints are all, to this day, down there, big cattlemen. Okay. All right, so at any rate, the, the Kellys and Wayne Kelly, old man Kelly had the deepest voice of anybody. I used to think he pretended to talk deep, you know, he had the deep voice. Right. So now we're all five of us on horseback riding, and then we divide That's up. It's amazing. You just think we about divide that. up, we're looking right. for this bull. Okay, right. we got an unwritten law. Okay. You do not rope a bull by yourself. Okay. Okay, mostly because you kill your horse. 
because if you got that rope tied to your, your hommel of your horse, the, the horn on your horse, mm -hmm. that bull just drag him down and they'll gore that horse, okay? Ooh. They could get you too, and you could get hurt or pinned by being dragged down. Right. So we kind of had a promise, so to speak, unspoken. You don't rope a bull by yourself. You rope him with two people, you string him out right. where he can't go one way or another. Right. Well, I went off in a direction, and mm -hmm. here I come around a corner, All right. and here's this big giant Brahma bull. Mm -hmm. And he's got his back up against these myrtles, and I'm on a horse named Fred. He's a registered quarter horse, and I broke him myself. There's a whole other story in that one. Right. Boy, there's a good lesson in that one. Okay. But anyway, it comes back to old Fred. We're staring at this bull, right, staring at us. And mm -hmm. I noticed this myrtle tree out in front of him. Mm -hmm. And I thought, if I could ro get my rope on that bull, and then get my big rope around that myrtle, that bull would choke himself back, and I believe I could tie him up. Because you always have a okay. pig rope, it's about eight feet long, uh -huh. smaller, and it's like when you're roping calves, sometimes you rope them and you tie their legs up. You see okay, me in a yeah. rodeo, oh, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, so instead of tying to the saddle of the horse, you're going to tie him to the myrtle. Well, first to the saddle of the horse. Okay, okay. Get him going back against me, get him choked good, because then right. they lose their mind when they're choked. Okay. Somewhat, if he's not charged me. But if he starts to charge me, I'm going to get around that tree with my horse. Okay, got it. So Fred was there. We got a wrap on. All I needed was one wrap on that myrtle. Now right. he's pulling on the myrtle. Right. Fred's holding back like this. Right. I jump off, grab my pig rope. Uh -huh. I throw it between his legs, uh -huh. get a stick, uh -huh. and I almost get my head kicked off. The bull oh. tried to kick me, missed me by a hair. I grab that rope, pull it back, pull it through a loop. Now I got one back leg, right? right? So now I get the second back leg, and I right. trip him. He falls over, oh and goodness. I tie all three of his legs up. Oh, my and gosh. I, and so I told him, pig tied, okay? Oh, wow. So now I get on my ropes, and he's just laying on the ground. So now <laughs> I'm, I'm riding just a little high in the saddle. Right, right, right. And I come back, and here, the, here they come, right. okay? And so we didn't cuss around my dad. Now, he yeah. was an excellent cusser. I can uh -huh. tell you stories. You'd laugh, and the people would laugh, but I've... Right. I tend not to cuss anymore. That's a right. that's called a iniquity I've had to forsake. Right. And yet I still do, I have to admit, the Lord's working on it, okay? Right. I don't cuss nasty, but I'll say a little something. Right. So at any rate, we come up there and they go, Well, it must, old man Kelly goes, he must have jumped out. Right. And I said, Well, I got him tied up right over here. <laughs> and big man, to keep from just straight out cussing, he made like he was coughing. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> right. I knew what he said. I knew what he right, said. Right, 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 right. And so yeah. I said, no, I got him tied up right over here, and big man did it twice. Right. <laughs> right. All right, so right, right. I said, y'all follow me. Right. We went over there, and uh -huh. there was that big old bull. I don't know if he weighed 2,000 pounds, but he was huge. Wow. And there he was, tied up, pig tied. Right, right. So uh, big man couldn't say a word. Right. He couldn't say a word. He saw him tied up. And so we got, went and got the cow trailer, and to do that, we're riding off. Right. And so my dad, we're riding together, he says, that was a good job, son. Wow. It's one of the few times that I felt him compliment me. Yeah. I want to tell you, Go ahead, yeah. to my legacy, but right. to whoever's listening to this, hey, do not be shy to compliment your children. Right. Do not speak to them and compliment. Every time you see them do something good, right. say, praise them. Even, for what they're doing good. Yeah. In fact, the best lesson I ever got from my sons, I'm gonna digress here in a minute. Mm -hmm. I saw a man that preached from a pulpit at mm -hmm. Liberty Northeast Church. Mm -hmm. He claimed all seven of his sons went into the ministry. Mm. Wow. I said, what? Because mm -hmm. I want my sons to be believers, and they yeah, are. Right. They're better givers than me. Mm -hmm. I don't brag, right. they're better men than me. That's what you should want for your yes. son, to be good in the Lord, see? Right. Yeah. So, I said, baby, I'm gonna have to leave you. I gotta catch this guy going to his car. Right. So I run around the back of the church, and here he come through there. The, the unspoken word is, don't interrupt a preacher when he gets, he might be a little tired. Right. But I caught him. I said, sir, can I have just 60 seconds of your time? Mm -hmm. He looked at me kind of strange, says, yes, what do you mm -hmm. want, son? I said, your seven boys uh -huh. went with you into the ministry, right. followed you. Right. I said, can you give me one tip? He says, I'll give you a great tip, and now you're getting that tip. Hear it from the Lord, okay? When your son or your daughter, doesn't matter, mm -hmm. when they giggle, when they've seen a butterfly, when they've caught a fish, when they see a puppy, when something tickles their heart right. or, their, or their tickle bone a little bit, right. grab them, pull them up to your cheek and uh -huh. say this, isn't God good? Isn't God good, Billy? Isn't God good, Becky? 
what we tend to do is we correct them yeah. out of our religiousness. Right. Don't do this. Right. Don't drink. Don't drive fast. Yeah. Don't wear those clothing. Pull your britches up. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. But here's a better tip. When they're little, pull them up to you when they feel good about something. Right. Because let me tell you, God is good. Yeah. He's the essence of goodness. Wow. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Okay. Awesome. So here, my dad told me that day, uh -huh. thank God, yeah. that was a good job, son. It, I felt so good about that. Right. But the name of the, the, name of the story right. is Pig Tide, okay? That's awesome. So what I say, though, too, that day, not only did the bull get pig tied, but big man Flint got pig tied too. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, forgive me for a little bit of No, that, no, you know. no. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. Subscribe. Listen, together we can touch the world. That's right. Subscribe below, right? The, wait, 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 wait. Don't go away. Subscribe. We're going to touch the world. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Hey, be sure to check us out at vfnkb.com and also join the VFNKB community at vfnkbcommunity.com. Listen, your success is our success. Our success is your success. And our success together is kingdom success.